After more than a year of relative calm in the Gaza Strip, tensions have flared up a yet again. As we speak, Israel and Palestine continue the exchange of rockets for the third day in a row. In an unexpected move, explosions were heard in Jerusalem, prompting sirens in the region. It signals the use of longer-range rockets by the Palestinian group. The Islamic Jihad group has confirmed the firing. This is the first time Jerusalem was targeted in the latest round of violence. The attack comes at a crucial time. Jews are currently visiting the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound in Jerusalem for their religious holiday. And this could turn into a new flashpoint in the ongoing tensions. Israeli authorities have been extending their bombardment to the city of Rafah, bringing the death toll to 31, including six children. Within two days, 253, 253 people have been left injured, with most injuries reported on the Palestinian side. Officials defended their move, calling it a reaction to a barrage of missiles fired by the Palestinian side. On Friday, an operation was launched against the Palestinian Islamic group. Two senior leaders have been killed since then. Taysir al-Jabari and Khaled Mansour. Now, the Prime Minister's office has claimed that the rebel group in Gaza attempted to target Israeli authorities, but failed in its operation. The rocket fell short and landed inside Gaza in the city of Jabalia. And ended up killing four children, among others. Hamas, on the other hand, has blamed Israel for the deaths. Tonight, Islamic Jihad terrorists fired a rocket towards Israel, which fell short inside Gaza, hitting a Palestinian home in the Jabalia neighborhood and tragically killing at least four children. There is video documenting the entire thing. There was no Israeli activity in the Gaza Strip, in that area, or at that time. Islamic Jihad is killing Palestinian children in Gaza. One in four rockets fired from Gaza towards Israel lands inside the Gaza Strip. Iran's proxies, including Islamic Jihad, have a long history of hiding behind civilians to target Israeli civilians. The world should be outraged at this terrorist group targeting innocent Israelis and killing innocent Gazans. Israel will continue to stand up to this vicious terrorist organization, which threatens Israelis and Palestinians alike. The Palestinian Islamic Jihad group has been pounding Israel with rockets, setting off air raid sirens and sending people running to bomb shelters. But most of the missiles have been intercepted by Israel's Iron Dome defense system. Well, for more on this, we were earlier joined by Dan Perry from Tel Aviv, who is an international affairs analyst and managing partner at Thunder 11. This is what Dan had to say about the current situation in the region. Well, Israel says it had, um, you know, highly uh, relevant, pertinent and information about a severe attack being planned by Islamic Jihad in, uh, in retaliation for the arrest of one of their leaders in the West Bank. Of course, Islamic Jihad is not in charge of Gaza. Hamas is in charge of Gaza. Hamas being the relatively more reasonable terrorist group. So Israel is hoping Hamas doesn't get involved in this latest round and stays out of it. And if that indeed continues to be the case, there is a chance that the tensions can ease and the round can wind down in a few hours or days. Look, I mean, it's, it's heartbreaking that civilians and children and any innocents get harmed in these conflicts. And when it happens at a big enough scale, um, of course, that can force an early end to the most well-laid plans. Um, but I've yet to encounter the government of any country, including the United States, so I have to say, including India, that would scrap strategic plans because of, because of, of, of this danger. Um, I have to say, Israel categorically denies firing the rocket that... Um, caused most of the deaths of children that you mentioned. That happened yesterday. They've issued videos and other evidence meant to prove that that was a rocket fired by a jihad that fell short. And I assess that to be true. I don't always take governments at their word, but, you know, this, this rings true to me. It's also true, on the other hand, that one little girl was killed on the first day as part of the assassination of uh, al-Jabari, the jihad leader, and that was the preemptive strike that you referred to. In general, we should remember, Israel is dealing with um, militants that locate themselves among civilians precisely in order to cause such casualties, or if you want to be charitable, as human shields. 
Uh, we saw that with Islamic State in Iraq and other places as well. This isn't cynicism, it's just the reality. We also spoke to Akram Natsheh from Hebron. Natsheh is a journalist and this is what he had to say. Whole uh, Gaza Strip are under fire. We can say sometimes it's in Rafa and Khan Yunis, in Gaza City, in Jabalia, in all of these area, Israel hates and Israel uh, strikes and make uh, uh, air strikes against this area and sometimes by uh, land, by uh, land fire. So it's it's, it's uh, we can say all of Gaza uh, strips is a strip is uh, under fire. I don't think it's an accurate fire. We they see all Palestinian are as uh, as target. Even they are children. Even they are uh, militant, or even they are uh, yeah, let's say um, uh, 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 from uh, Palestinian uh, uh, security or uh, Palestinian police. So uh, Israel uh, see the enemy is the. Uh, uh, Palestinian people. So when they are striking, anyone will be killed. They will be, uh, this will say it's inaccurate uh, because they are killing Palestinian. It's not, they are not concerned. They are not in stress, in stress, interested if they are children, women or civilian. We Earn is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.